So do me a favor and share the video, let it go very far to everybody who has also joined us. And I know that by the grace of God, it will go very far to touch their lives and bless their lives like never before. Let's pray once again. Heavenly Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that as you have given us a profound prophetic word to your people, let our alarm and let our horn sound in the name of Jesus. Bring your corrections and your rebuke and your warnings to the church the body of christ let them know that they have digressed we need your light of instruction do us good we'll be careful to give you all the glory in jesus precious name somebody shout amen the scripture is uh second kings chapter 9 and verses number 22 right up to 26 but let me do just 22 and then i'll read the key bible right also to you uh second in chapter 9 22 it came to pass when joram saw jehu that he said is it peace jehu and he answered what peace so long as the whoredoms of thy mother jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many how can there be peace? Let me read this to you. Interesting revelation. And then, you know, we can work. The Bible said in Ahinemuma, a tosmi, you know, itra, a young crun, you know, a year, you know, you know, to the crun crun set. Now, Yoram, Ehunu, Yehu set. Uhuno, no, no, Ubisan, Yehu set, Asumjiana, was set, Asumjiba, then Abba, Kosa, Asumjia, a bed, then Abba. Mm. And then she, he went up to say, very in Hebrew, wonder, Yezebel, a drama, money, na bay, grow, baby, baby, a door swing, a bed, and I assume you have. Tell me, how can there be peace when your leaders don't speak truth, your preachers don't tell truth? They have become too hypocritical to the point that they talk madness from your pulpits to you. How can there be peace? I want to ask you, how can there be peace? There can never be peace. I'm telling you. And I'm warning you, ladies and gentlemen, your God is coming very soon to judge all of you. Prepare to meet your God. The gospel is disappearing gradually from our pulpits. The real gospel is disappearing very, very gradually from our... I want to talk to you. You know, let, let us be uh, circumspect in what we're doing. I want you to share the video. Tag your pastor into it. Let us send a no notification. Because most of the messages... I have never seen a bunch of hypocrites like preachers politicians, prophets, bishops, the Christians, huh? hypocrites! They will put up nice suits and put up nice and have this nice political rhetoric and all that kind of thing. But India has their beasts. If you are not careful, hmm, the kingdom of heaven will elude you. The sad thing is going to be what he talked about in Matthew, the seventh chapter, the 21st verse, when the Bible talks about not everybody who says unto me, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of heaven. Every preacher who has come on the page tonight, I want you to understand that you better start preaching the truth and the pure gospel, which you have been called for. If not so, your punishment before the throne of God will be very, very unbearable. I'm against it. I'm against it. I'm 
instead of pleasing the people please god because you are running a show that is being watched by only one person and that is god so i want to encourage you to do the right thing i want to yeah, i want to encourage you to do the right thing let us be encouraged that, that there can never be peace except the right thing is done because righteousness and justice are the foundations of the throne of God. And the Bible is saying that he considereth. Let me read that to you. Very interestingly. We read that interestingly in Psalm 33 and verses number 12 to 22. Psalm number 33 verse 12. Can somebody copy and paste it on the thing for us? Let's work with that. I want you to wake up your elder, your presiding elder. Wake them up. Wake your fiancé up. Wake your fiance up. And then tag them to give them a notification. Wake your husband up. Asuadin, a far cry and quassia four. May be Kenya me a yancho. A mabebre, a come a primu four. A tear. A yammy mamma, someone yammo sonimum crop four. Yama better than ten a suke can quassia some sa. A braya braboni, we are living in evil days. And yet, nobody talks about being in evil days. We are living in evil days. Can somebody begin to let us know that we are in evil days? And so as the Bible said in Ephesians chapter number 5 verse number 15, Therefore, live circumspectly, not as fools, but wise, redeeming the time for the days in which you live are evil. We need to tell this generation that if they are not careful, they will lose the kingdom of heaven. They may go to church, they may preach, they may prophesy, like as the Bible said, and, and on that day, Matthew chapter 7, from verse number 22, 23, 24, some will say we prophesied in your name, we healed in your name, we did miracles in your name, but he will tell them, depart from me, thou workers of iniquity. Tear! The judgment day, I don't know anything that will be as crazy as the judgment day. I want to talk to you. There shall be no tear. I'm telling you the mind and the heart of God. And the preachers, the altar workers that are the example unto the brethren, we are supposed to be example to the believers. Why are we divorcing? I'm asking you. The funny thing that these people are going to talk about is that, oh, this a man of God. Don't talk against a man of God. I don't want to hear that. The man of God should have known that he is a man of God. He should not have allowed the name of the Lord to be ridiculed. The man of God should know he is a man of God. You were telling us you were all anointed, all grace, all powerful, until you fall into sin. Then you tell us, I am human. You should have told us, told us that from the very beginning. That it is only the grace of God that makes the difference. 
the grace that you you people have trampled on the same grace of god that have been trampled under our feet the same grace of god that have been rubbished the same grace of god that have been thrown into oblivion common marriage you can't sustain it how can you sustain the house of god have you forgotten if a man cannot keep well his own household he is not he is not eligible to handle the house of god I'm telling you, most of you on this page and the people that will watch later, I'm going to tell you if you are not careful with all your tongues and with all your songs and with all your prayer, you are on your way to hell. Hell! Because Psalm 90, the Bible talks about something very interestingly in verse number nine. I will want to, you know, read it to you before I get into the pivotal, you know, scripture for tonight. And then we can, dear, my swasin sene, my kume prim, and nun ti, and a yehua, sheno, you have been now exposed to danger and to you the church is exposed to what i call blatant demonic assaults show me one person only who 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 was plagued with stroke in the scriptures the foundation the moment the foundation becomes faulty you, the foundation of your conviction of the strength of your conviction and your faith the moment is faulty i'm telling you ladies and gentlemen there is no way you can stand Chiribi or Pinti before the Lord. See, that's why when Elijah and Elijah were talking, they can clearly see things like, as long as the Lord liveth and my soul remains before him, and my soul liveth, dear, our souls have fallen on the rocks by the wayside. I'm telling you, a church that was dignified, anointed, blessed, radically blazing on fire for jesus christ now they have become frail and vulnerable and weak and susceptible to all kinds of demonic attacks demonic attack and it's all because of lust the lust of the eyes the lust of the flesh the pride of life lust a higher and you, these people have contaminated the precious ointment. Precious oil have been diluted, contaminated, perverted, ostracized, twisted. Tell you. And I want to talk to you until your hypocrisy goes out of your heart and you come to genuine repentance. You are all on your way to hell. And men of God cannot even sustain their homes. You should have known long ago that the enemy was after your home. And especially after your marriage. And I'm telling all the people who have come on this page. Don't be a fool. The devil is after you. Even the least of us. The enemy is after us. I'm telling you. The enemy will have us make headlines for him. Pastor raped this. Christian rapes that. Some something kills that. Uh, the born again believer commits suicide. The devil is looking for opportunity. Or per se a coin a bedaya no fe mumma when in now. It didn't yes what catch them. I'm telling you. Mumma when you free saw, Miss Mamma sing and tene a competum. Mumma when you free saw, huh? Na mum mum was say bubru. I send you. As wolves, as as you know, uh, I send you, you know, as uh, sheep into wolves. Therefore, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves. 
ya kawe ya chreo. Na woku na wenine na msoro. Wenine na msoro. Seta ya su mfidiye mwenine na fomu. Girls, he fell. Daddy, daddy. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you move it here. When in the house, when in the house, papa, papa. I wish they called you by your name. Jerry Americano. I wish they had just called you. Dear, by your name, like Kofidru. Papa, Papa, four. Will be you a boy. Tiana, I'm going to go. Mumbe, pray, my pray, Jamaine, the bonim, manina ho. And in the Holy Ho, we are free that everybody filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah? Everybody, not anybody. Everybody filled with the Holy Spirit hmm? must be able to have any da ho. Any da ho. When in the who we are about to catch him, see any petty, but in petty so. One day, so will be our yer bonino, any young no, and so on nim Christo no. Will be our yer bonini fribon some. First John chapter three. Very, very, very clearly. The Bible outlines it very clearly. Now let me go read it, you know, to you so that we don't. First John chapter number three. Let's get into the word of the Lord. And I'll remind you always that when righteousness becomes a lifestyle, breakthroughs becomes automatic. Acting. Acting. And I'm warning you before you face the wrath of God. You are hiding by the grace of God and you're talking madness and nonsense. And ladies and gentlemen, the Lord sent me to come and warn you because you are on the verge of backsliding. The church have backslided. I want everybody who comes on. Can you share the page for me? Can you just share this? It doesn't cost anything. What does it cost for somebody to share something on Facebook? Just press the share button. Press the share button for me right now. Let's double the number of the people that are watching to go into the space or the sphere of influence so that everybody will be able to understand what we're talking about. Let's do it right away. Share it right away before I go ahead to be able to continue with the word of the Lord which he has given. Who will can come when you have somebody and you die? Ha! In New York. When you die, you know, same time, that's what I shall be so. And one anchor, you're very, very, tell you, first John chapter, uh, you know, I mean, cooking kind of hot and for so that we will be able to understand. First John chapter 3, verse number 8. First John chapter 3, verse number 8. He that committed sin is of the devil. It's in your Bible. It is said when you that the devil is also set traps for you. But you have forgotten that thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So your feet is illuminated and your path is lightened as well. Because I'm the person you need the ho. Now you shut your eyes so you are ready, Juma. But you are not bow. You can't hear me again. I'm sure. And now we can tell you now. We will be able to. Because we are the most so. We are the now we be free because we are talking about righteousness. Don't you know that righteousness exalts? Huh? We need to tell you now. And that is why the church is praying. And yet. They cannot receive anything from the law. Please, and you're not doing yet in time. Tana maning yet is a ube nye bribia free of radin che munti yen yepa. Anybody who is double-minded will not receive anything from the law. And I'm looking at adultery, fornication. I'm looking at wickedness coming through the gates of the of the church into coming unto the altar of God. Ibe ken ame ya jen che munti yen yepa. Coming to the altar of God. 
And ladies and gentlemen, it is all because we have eliminated the Christ from the pulpit. We don't preach about Christ. We don't sing about Christ. We don't talk about the Christ. There are no poems about the Christ. There are no choreographies about the Christ. There are no, you know, uh, sketches about the Christ, drama about the Christ. The Christ have been totally ignored from our pulpits. Can they say you wish us here? What she has said. I'm telling you, you better wake up. I mean, the papa who could have said you. You carry this Bible and still uh, masturbate and tell me I don't know how to stop. I don't believe that the Holy Spirit is in you. If you read very carefully, Job chapter 32 verse number 18, <laughs> the, he said, I am full of matter, and the spirit within me constraineth me. Was it any sum? I shall remember. Now, oh, my woman, mono, a shame. Tiania, we can't imagine. Oh, my woman, mono, shame. It didn't deny their own angel. Yeah, didn't deny our own angel. Would you be correct? You won't mention. One banana software when you are so no suffer no more bump by your phone and mouth. My real free said we can pray, but it's up to God's discretion. It is up to the Lord's discretion to answer the prayer. Ti, can you share the video for me? Let it go very far. Mammy just met to pe mammy fanka some children I'm in poor nakoda. I'm inviting everybody to our non-denominational prophetic service, Jerusalem Empire. We start at 6.30 in the morning. We close, ladies and gentlemen, at, uh, you know, 8 o'clock, and then we are done. It is prayer and prophecies. The prophetic word of, and your moment bring come your phone on, we are be best, you know. Come and hear the mind of God. We be doing so when I have a nimia catch us one sacra. Let's see one is say a casa. Tia, can you hear me? I do not hear you. Oh my, you want me mono? A shame. Tia, First John chapter three verse number eight. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil committed, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, tia. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. In other words, if anybody stands integral before the Lord, ladies and gentlemen, the enemy fled because that is victory in the blood and on the cross. Enough! Tillene! Tillene! Come to that. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, and then he went further in verse number nine to say, Whosoever is born of God, T. I have a new life real. T. I. We just quote in scriptures. Exegetically, we are presenting to you an apologetic, T. I. An apologetic gospel presentation. Proper exegesis is lost from our pulpit. The proper interpretation of scriptures is gone. The people just quote scriptures and they talk madness to the Bible is such broad that you can quote the Bible for anything. But the real exegetical and apologetic interpretation is right there. And ladies and gentlemen, it takes the Holy Spirit to be able to do that. I want to say this to you and then you know. We can close. I have eight more minutes. We will be going. Listen to verse number nine. Whosoever is born of God, do not commit sin. <laughs> I read it again. Whosoever is born of God, do not commit sin. For his seed, the seed that makes you born again, uh, remains in you. Now his seed remains in you. Tia, can you imagine it? If his seed remains in you, how can you hate? How can you resent? How can you oppose? How can you 
commit adultery. How can you maltreat your wife? How can you maltreat your husband? How can you maltreat your brother or sister? If a seed remains in you, you have so many people you hate and you tell me the Holy Ghost is in you. It's a lie. It's a big lie. And until you get the hate out of your heart and, and, and fill it with the love of God, you are on your way to hell. Can you share the video for me? The Lord wants to speak to somebody. Let me in two minutes speak to the preachers. Stop tailoring and customizing message that can flatter people and excite people and bring, uh, you know, try to flatter and lure people to the Lord. Because what you are doing has nothing to do with you. I'm telling you, you will die and the gospel will continue until the end has come. And so everybody that is listening to me will have to understand, you better repent. Repent and live a life that is worthy of your repentance. And that life only is in Christ Jesus. It is very easy for prostitutes to receive this message. Very easy for we smokers to receive this message. And repent from their iniquity. Tear! Repent from their iniquity. It is hard for the so-called bishops. Bishops and add bishops and add bishops elect and cardinals and one one for no. it's so difficult for them to repent and i will read you today hebrews chapter 10 I'm going to read you hebrews the 10th chapter and then we are going to wrap up by the grace of god and then we are hebrews 10 26 I'm going to talk to you about that briefly, prophetically, and then we are on our way. I'm so grateful to everybody, but share the video for me. I want you to do that right now. It doesn't cost anything to share. Just press the button and it's done. Thank you very much. Hebrews uh, 10 chapter, the 26th verse. Very interesting verse. Listen to what it says. For if we sin willfully, yeah! Grace, grace abuses. No, let them hear. For if we sin willfully, when I say grace abuses, they'll tell you we are under grace. Yes, we are under grace. But grace should not be abused or taken for granted. Who preach it? Kenya mi adwene eka eyi nyam sam kriso ne do ene ne ho nsam eka tene ne nsam dan kwan sam kokobonza mo mzo kan kwa se asam ti ani e kenya mi adwene yesi e fa mo o pa sakra o pa kobo tobu nsam jim e bo koko koko bom ntini ete ya if we sin hebrews 10:26 willfully after we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for our sins. If the Bible is yours, underline, highlight, and get it ready for yourself. For if we sin willfully, after we have received the knowledge of the truth. The Bible said there remaineth. Don't miss this revelation. This is weightier matter. Muko dibone amashadabi shim. Wobi kuno me jeno na mashadabi sreboni fache. Me be shadako jiske bru. My joy occult illuminati na ma sheda mi be wa ma pesofu bi a wo share so mo mpa ya mame ma tiska ni bi ama na adwene funu no tie wo scripture kenya mi adwe a chiro let me read it in key interestingly hmm a very interesting o se na se nyanya no kure ni munim die die na e chirai 
ye boapa kwa ye bonne u boapa kwa ye bonne na bonne wa for the bo biara in the home of bio that word bio means that the the you know atoning grace will not be there i read it again na say ye nya no kure ni mu nimdie tie ye me kan kan hebrew fo ma ite edu yimu e edu edu no nsia hebrew chapter number 10 verse number 26 this should be one of the most important scriptures in your bible it should be your guiding line so that you don't abuse the grace of god most of us have taken the love of god for leniency o nya me de na I mean, you're the one who's When you me, Jad, you're crumb crumb. No, I'm not going to be a good thing. You're 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 You won't believe. I'm telling you. Who goes for musicians? Fire lesbians. Fire gays. Men I'm catching up. So I'm doing the gym. May you on who program? I have seen a bubble on the team. I catch on some of my alabaster. My mom deliverance. Tia ya. Yang kwa kwa mo. Yang ndo ho. Upe tio pa tu chene. Men fa ho. Me ya koko boni. Me ya koko. Me dia ne sa me bo asafo ne koko na me bo wo ma ne koko me djuma no no e ti wo ya wo de be wo so we pra wo a wo se wa kuma e dene ya de be ba be wo so no we pra fri sa me wo ho ngo sara ti ariye ke na me adwe na dia chero i am going to read this in english the last time and then i pick it up in a tree na fe me dia assembly ba na wi and I know now my culture also. James chapter one verse number fifteen. The Bible talks about something profoundly prophetic. I say a kono in yinsaya a wo bonne na bonne nusu yinsaya a wo a wo ti ani ay a kono se yinsaya a wo bonne na ti ana culture also ni pam penukre. Why pan me a culture also? People don't like the truth. Let me tell you something. Any church, not only in Ghana, all around the world, who does not preach about the Christ from 2000, from 2019, who does not preach about his righteousness, not your righteousness, his righteousness, any church that does not talk about eternal life, any church that does not talk about the judgment of God from this year, it will collapse. Me don't catch it up. Do the amopa Montreal na Montreal si unhuone so. You are going to America. Uh, your joy be to the Lord will find the question si unhuone mni adi. Hey, other things you know, we don't preach about it. It will come. It will come. Good health, healing, good marriages, prosperity. Elevation, I don't need to scream it to you automatically. Matthew 6 33, it surely comes. I'm telling you, I'm going to be wrapping up and then we're going to wrap up and go. But I want you to share this video. I want everybody under the reach of the sound of my voice to understand that God will judge you. Luke chapter 12 verse 2 Everything that is hidden or concealed shall be unveiled Romans chapter 14 verse 12 The Bible said we shall all account before the Lord our God One by one by one We will all account unto God Hebrews chapter 12 verse number 13 The Bible said there is no creature that is hidden before the eyes of God For all things are naked before him he will put up the judgment table and judge you to you. A bunch of phobia. No more man. Muntia free. Some water mo. And they are switching. Oh, ha. The king of the Achilles. Muntia. 
If there is anything that tonight I seek to tell everybody and I do not, you know, eliminate anybody from it, it is to tell you to repent. Repent! Somebody will say, but I've already repented. I don't think so. Yeah! And I will When he was talking about the churches in Asia Minor and the Bible was expostulating the revelations of God towards them. And he was talking about, I have not found your works worthy before and uh, that your names will not be bloated out of the Your names will not be bloated out of the Hallelujah. The amazing thing, you know, you need to understand is that the Lord cometh. Revelation chapter 3, verse number 5. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And the Bible said, I will not bloat thee. I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. That does not sound. When I did English literature, there is something we call connotative implication or figurative implication. Now, by this, it's telling you that um, I will not blot out his name. That means that the name can be blotted out. Yeah! As I bring my message to a close, I want everybody to understand and get this revelation. Share the video. Talk somebody. Come in and tell somebody that, you know, it's time to repent. Repent! It's time to repent. Muntien ye, it's time to repent. As I bring my message to a close, I mean, if you have just joined, I just press the share button. So that anybody who comes to your page later will get the message. Jesus has sent all of us to go out and make disciples and, uh, you know, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, and teach them. To observe all things. We are not supposed to just teach them who. We are supposed to teach them to observe, to do. It's not just teaching them. Make sure they get it. Make sure they do it. I said, they said, you are hot. Tell you, when you are grow, Kikanya mi adunin na dia chila mo. Mi dia samni na ebana vi ya na. I need you to get this revelation and then I'll be out of your way. Because when in Revelation chapter, you know, he said, but, 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 but he, he, he went on and said, uh, verse number three, chapter three, verse three. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. Repent! But he was speaking to the church. He was not speaking to the people I normally preach to in the markets and in the and in the streets and in the ghettos. He was speaking to the church. Why is he telling the church to repent? Because he has not found your works worthy before his God. Repent. Repent. Repent too. Do you think that if Jesus assesses you critically tonight, will you be found worthy? That is the first question. The second question is if you should fall dead right now, um, first of all, will you make it to heaven? Secondly, will your works be found worthy? Will your works be pleasurable to the king? We want to ask you that. So why don't you be determined to do his will? Why are you trying to please everybody? Why are you trying to please the world? I drive a good car. I live in a good... So what? We don't care of your mad car. 
We don't care where you live. Tiania! We care how many souls we are winning. That is what our game is all about. Not the things you have acquired. Tiania! Not the titles. Look at now we have self-appointed bishops, self-appointed prophets all over. I am his grace and bishop this. You, his grace. Oh my, with a whole papa. A papa. Kula wumobi. A kra wunchinibi. We are his grace. We are his grace. How would I do more suffer, my boy? His grace. His grace. Yes, we son gazing. Yes, we know how we do that, you know. We his DNA. Ha! Now, I'm some fun on my mom and inquire, you know. Tia, I'm going to go. Yeah, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm His grace. His grace, Prophet Dr. Kufiut. We are here. And I'm here to come on. Akiraya! All you care is a title. Go to the ghettos because Muguas on them and a Moma Granger and a Kreira. Tiania make us know. Muguas on them. Yesterday, I was so touched. This morning, when my mother, early morning before six o'clock, my mother, Chrissy Dotter, sent me videos of a crusade she went to hold at Kolebu. My mother, Christy Dotete, is 63 going to 64. 63! Woman is standing on a crusade platform. Namo mrantiyeng mmatikitikiti. Mwesemu ya prophets gudem. Yesemu makwanche. Nyansa mfuno. Jansa mfuno! Ejuma oho. Emrewai kula sorry ko e nyami e juma e ko crusade na mumu gudam ke kangwa siya samse you know mu ya prophet ya mumu akwanche e di akwanche abre yifwa e ni e juma fugu ha o mo pei ti ame pei ube tiye ube tiye ube tiye o chira sen nunya akasa chira fu ti na atim ko siya zimu e ma akwanche. But I said, you know, Joe, you, you, Nayana, or the Abompire, and I joke, you have to be sad, you have to be. I'm going to see you somehow. When I'm a Joe, be on my journey in the field now. I'm telling you. Oh, you are a Joe, be on my journey. Tia! You see, Tia. Tia, Pantin, I'm saying, Tagos, of his ship. Oh, best sudden, Maki, can you, and you're me, person, Maki, can you, and me, and you're in the natural. And you know, a, a, a very sad story. My wife was telling me somebody called, you know, uh, the ministry phone, and the, the whole message is that Okoko Woye, Obaye, Nikunu, Etu Efri, Nifia Kwako Tena Sonde. Why? Because girl beat your son there more. I say, say, I'm going to bring you in, I can't bat you, I'm sorry there more. Somebody catch you and say, say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm Ni wuso diye tumi and fan chile ni and tua money and say a dear and demonstrate kingdom power and glory very soon even when you know na platform so and and grow for fawo mo very 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 soon muntie niye rima sam neba ne we mu gudemo ma kwa nchile grow for yin um brisium and wamo drossum and amo say e uri uya uri adi abe tu ubi apa mpaso you will say, I'm say, draw some more. Oh, yeah, they are better to be a pampas. So, I brought a grow for she. We want to you and dying in their sins. Mugua, now me, my me, Christy daughter, 63. I'm a movie crusade. Now, mom, and I'm too good. Demo, Mark, and she, my country, and so I'm going to me, would train me, who told. A quantity be a miss out here when Cassa touching it and was winning so. Tia! Any direction that does not match the standards or the prescriptions of the standards of this thing touching it was winning so. 
This thing alone is aquanjire enough. This thing alone, ti is essentially enough. This thing alone can make you a billionaire, a trillionaire, a quadrillionaire, a quartillionaire. This, a zillionaire. This can make you that. At we actually ke kan kwasi asem. Obi e ba onfa camera. Obi e ba onfa se camera. Afi di omo no ajo love ni etete microphone. Mo nwe sere no omo we. Mo nom Johnson no omo nom. Very soon mo be near to TD. Tiani ya. Very soon. That's where we are driving our game to. Na me dem asem no. He ba na wi ha me catch him. So man so ni no kure mu. If we don't take this ministry in sincerity and honest, Tia, what can I say? So for there be, it wasn't can make exceptions. Me knew what time. Me knew what time was. He didn't make exceptions. Me can ya me a jene. Ya me a jene yen to sebe. Me fani pa wo ye. Tia me When God is speaking like this, he speaks and cuts across all the lines. Can you share the video now? Share it. Kenya mi ajuni na di achiri ni amenkro for. Na gani ni say God will raise his voice. Ana yeye ni nani Kenya suffer the answer so we have many more misses suffer, huh? Because you people disappointed God, He found confidence in us and showed that mercy that we should come and do your job. Aso for no abasi munti, nani Kenya majuma adi ya ye ye ye. We have many more misses suffer. We have any more Miss Woodifo. Anything Roman Cassas and your son, you preach, if he say, and ya suffer. Yen Sibi, dear preaching, said ye nimbia. Tiania Upe, Tiopa, Totten, Yen Faho, I may catch you. You will stand before the judgment seat of God, and God will judge you. God will judge you. God will judge you. You're careful. A dear me, I hear you. Where we are. A dear BIA in a season. A way we are. As I bring my message to a close, I want you to know. Tia! Munsia, dear we. Study the word. Study the word! For yourself. Nangrofani, I am a Jew, Christopher, and Ukram, and Tia, and say, Have you also lost common sense? Ha! Muya, Jimmy, oh! Muya Jimmy pa 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 I'm telling you. Muya Jimmy Muya yem kwa siya fo. Muya nye ye. Muya ye. Muya yem kwa siya fo pa. Tia niya. Muya Jimmy. Study this thing. The moment you study this thing, it brings enlightenment. Study this thing. Study this thing. For yourself. Study this thing. When you are a student of this word, there is no way these guys will talk madness. I'm telling you, follow me, boys oil. Wo, enku fui, ya fasra wo kramai, abeifungu, stand in this thing, so that they will not exploit you. You can claim the healing by yourself, you can claim the deliverance by yourself, stand in it for yourself. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we give you the glory. That you have given us an opportunity to come back to our first love. To come back in alignment with your grace and love. To come back. I pray my God right now in Jesus precious name. That we will come back to find the truth. No kure. Yehiya no kure. Ya danya kwe jiwa adra. Ene edie. Mi emra no kure hainim. Ni enante sedye wakwa antie. And with Jesus, the Asifoni de Mura, me boy Yesu di Sirawa dom strongko, and the Mau Mau Fina. With Jesus.
Tiasifuni. May we come to the place of enlightenment in Christ Jesus our Lord. May we find the truth. May we cling to the truth. May we walk with the Christ and never depart from. May we buy the truth and never sell it. In Jesus' precious name. So create in us a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within us. In Jesus' precious name. Put your hand on your chest. Let's rededicate our lives, all of us. Let's rededicate our lives to Christ Jesus. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of all my sins, shortfalls, vulnerabilities, mistakes. Forgive me of all my absurdity. We all have it, sweetie. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Today, I rededicate my life to Christ Jesus. That all the days of my life, I will serve him in spirit and in truth. I will do what is righteous. I will do what is pleasurable to the Christ. And I will do that which is worth my repentance. In the name of Jesus. Somebody say, Holy Spirit, fill my heart. Come into my life anoint me use me in jesus precious name father i honor you for your people i celebrate you for everybody in jesus mighty name somebody shout amen guys god bless you let me tell you three things before i close number one time is running out for all of us you didn't look used to you you were not like this you had a baby face. You had a baby face. Now you are growing. Spikes of gray hair. It's coming. It should talk to you. It should tell you. My father, my biological father. The old man is 98 years old now. He still lives with my mother. And I, I look at his life and sometimes I ask him, how does it feel to be 98? And he tells me it, it just feels like it was yesterday. Yes! A black hole! Time is running out. Be careful. And redeem the time. Don't waste the time. Redeem the times. We are living in evil days. You're careful. Number two. Be very mindful and very aggressive for your eternal life. Don't joke with it. Be very, very, very aggressive for eternal life. Never joke with it. Because this life is so temporary. All the people which we came to meet, most of them are gone. Like Barry do. Like Michael Jackson. Yeah. And look at people who are around with us. And now they are no more. It tells me how temporarily your life is. I'm reminding you. I'm only reminding you that everything you have achieved and everything you are working for is temporary. Think of eternal life. And eternal life comes only through Christ Jesus. So the moment he's in your life, don't joke. Don't joke with your relationship with Jesus Christ. That is why I'm going to use this particular revelation to tell everybody that is listening to me, look for a proper church. church. There are so many churches around. It looks like a good one. It preaches like a good one. It sings like a good one. It prophesies like a good one. But apparently, it is a shrine. It's a shrine. To you. Most of your so-called prophets, one way you come for fetish priest. Take it from me. I'm telling you, by the time you know they've sacrificed you, I'm going to wait castle. TI Eternal life. Don't joke with it. Last thing. Be very, very mindful of eternal judgment. God will judge you. No matter, God will judge you in all the relationships you've had. God will judge you in all your marriages. How you raise your children, 
Most of you who don't take care of the babies you have made, God will judge you. Tia! Don't say who no no na ko ye mo fra no awon ye omo. Atopa, atopa, atopa fi. Ena ye wo de, wo wu a won ye omo. Tia! Tega mi a jin a chiro. Why yas? E hu hia o che un kwaji e. Why yas? Hu hia un che un kwaji e. The Lord sent me tonight to come and talk to you, and that's what I'm doing. You better hear what we're talking about. Be mindful of eternal judgment. God will judge you. Everything we're doing, all the people that are extorting money from people, all the people that are making us a match of tyranny. Eternal judgment. Eternal judgment. Our judgment. So time is running out for all of us. Number one, these are the lessons for tonight. Time is running out for all of us. Very soon you, yeah, very soon you are going to be an old man. You hold things and your hands will be shaking. You're on your way to the grave. The Bible said after the death, after that death, there shall be judgment. So I want to talk to you. Very clear because we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ and whatever we do we will come to account for it. You need to understand what I'm talking about is not a joke. These guys talk like, they preach like. I mean, they are so smart. They talk like, they preach like, they prophesy like, but they are fake. Fake as fake. As fake. Almost all of them are prophets. I'm telling you, you have criminals, organized criminals in suits. I bring my message to a close. Be careful and be vigilant. Now, when now, if we say, and Patekwa be fre wi nyame asafum, ya, and Sebo abe fre wi nyame asafum, he ye, and wame mu. True time, Ebushia. Yanko Point Shramo. If I just saw you new to this channel, if I'll show, click it, subscribe button also. Now, here's our dumb man, Amy, you'll be a peer over a pimp and more, and peer click or so. Now, we are, no, I click a like button also. Now, we'll just comment every video and I say, We're a sign of my way, I'll bore and my channel, no, so open anymore. See a person, Yanko Passam, to be called yourself and any now.